Hello friends, this video on mensuration part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have been discussing the two dimensional shapes so far like the quadrilaterals, parallelograms, rhombus, trapezium, polygons, it's time to discuss the three dimensional solid shapes as well. So we have already learned about these 3D shapes like sphere, cone, cube and cuboid. So it's time to find out the area covered by each of these shapes. So let's start with surface area. So in case of uh, the two dimensional shapes we just call this area but in case of a cuboid or any three dimensional shape for that matter we call it surface area why is that so that's because when you look at a three dimensional shape for example this cuboid so how is it formed it is formed by many two dimensional shapes like you see here it is formed by different rectangles so each of these rectangles they form each surface of the cuboid and therefore the sum of the areas of all these rectangles together form the surface area of the cuboid so how do we find out the surface area so for that let us first find out how many surfaces do we have in this cuboid so we have a top surface we have a bottom surface we have a front surface we also have a surface at the back we have two sides that is side one and side two let's call them side one and side two respectively now what we do is let's find out the area of each of these surfaces and then add all these areas to get the total surface area of the cuboid so what would be the total what would be the surface area of the top so this is the top surface so for the top surface this is the length so let's call it l and this is the breadth so the area of the top surface would be area of a rectangle that is length into breadth so this is the area of the top surface what would be the area of the bottom surface so the bottom surface is not visible exactly from here but if you try to visualize it this is how the bottom surface would be and this would also be equal to length and this would be equal to breadth so this would also be l into b how about the front surface so when you look at the front surface this is the one so here this is your length and how what is this measurement this is the height of the cuboid right so the area of the front surface would be l into h in a similar way the back surface so this would be your back surface this one so here also this thing is l and this thing is h so the back surface would also be l into h now let's focus on the sides so when you look at this side so this is again a rectangle so the length in this case is h and the breadth in this case is b so this would be b into h in a similar way when you look at side 2 that is this side this is side 2 so for side 2 also the area would be b into h so these are the areas for all the six surfaces which make this cuboid. So therefore the total surface area of this cuboid would be the sum of the areas of these surfaces. So that is equal to LB plus LB plus LH plus LH plus BH plus BH. So this can be written as 2LB plus 2LH plus 2BH. So 2 is a common factor. So let's take it out. So this is LB plus BH plus LH. So this is the total surface area of a cuboid. So we say total surface area is 2 into LB plus BH plus LH where H, LB are height, length and width of the cuboid respectively. Now on similar lines we can also find out the total surface area of a cube. So how do we do that? So a cube is just like a cuboid with a speciality that in a cube all the sides are equal in length. So all the edges are L. So we do not have any concept of L, B and H. All of them are of same length. So let us assume that each side of the cube has a length A. So A is the length of each side of this cube. And now let us try to find out the total surface area of the cube. Now in case of a cube again total how many surfaces do you have? You have six surfaces and each surface is a square. So what would be the area of each square? 
so area of each surface that is basically area of each square would be side into side that is a into a which is a square so this is the area of each surface therefore the total surface area of the cube would be the total area of all the six surfaces so 6 into a square which is 6 a square so we can say that total surface area of a cube is 6 a square where a is the side length of the cube so this is simple thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you